I brought the whole team from Chicago to St. Augustine, Florida to build a massive backyard water feature. Hey, guys. Hey. I got something special for you guys, especially for her. I want to be able to watch those fish on your big screen TV. I think it would be super, super cool. The underwater clay can allows you to get inside your pond with your fish, but while you're sitting inside watching your TV. With the wetlands as a backdrop, we're going to build a Florida-inspired ecosystem for the paints. For a unique feature, we'll install an underwater koi camera that will send a live video stream directly to the Payne's TV. Greg Thomas Larry, this underwater koi camera, which is an awesome idea. It's kind of a new product to the market, and I'm not sure how I'm going to track this down. My name's Brian, I work with Aquascapes, and uh, I know this is a weird request, but I'm looking to try to track down a koi camera. Have you ever heard of anything like that? Okay, thanks. So I'm calling scuba shops. You don't have it? I'm calling aquarium places. No. I'm calling fish supply places. I'm calling other pond people we might know in the area. If any suggestions on who I could call to get this thing, nobody's got these things. All right. Thanks anyways. I can't find them. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. Some of the hard parts about digging in Florida are, are the sand. The other problem is the sand allows thousands of tree roots running all over the place. I can't imagine this job to go real smooth. Every construction element is going to be a huge challenge. When we're digging with sand, it's easy to dig through, but nothing ever holds its shape, so the sides always want to cave in. What a, oh, we got a big old stump right there, huh? Digging through those tree roots just sucks, because digging with a pick doesn't work, digging with a shovel doesn't work. It's just a mess. So what's the status of the underwater koi camera? Is that going to happen? Um, if it's between me and you, I called some marine shop places, but they don't have anything. You got me kind of excited about it, so people watch on my big TV. Brian, better figure this one out, ASAP. Yeah, this is Brian with uh, Aquascape. Hey, I'm looking for a koi camera. Have you ever heard of a koi camera? Hey, I've called about five different people, and nobody has this. Do you guys have anything called a koi camera? Oh, good, you got it? Awesome. Koi cam to go. It's here, it's here. The Koi camera is here. Koi cam! <laughs> oh yeah! Woo! The cable, which is like 200 feet long, I think that's enough, it allows you to dig it through the ground, run it up the side of the house, down through the wall, to his TV, and then hook it up into the back of his TV. Nice. Turned it on? Yes. Got it. It looks awesome. We gotta get them out here. All right, man. I, I can't wait. To, we gotta wrap stuff up. You go <laughs> grab them. I'll go get them. You know, their inspiration for this water feature was their daughter. Okay. okay. You wanna open them? When we get out here, you can open your eyes. Open your eyes. The fact that they can do this together, I think is pretty special. One, two, three. Hey, look at my God! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God! Is this our yard? <laughs>